we're going to be measuring the half-life of protactinium. Protactinium is on the decay series for uranium and you can see uranium decays to thorium which decays to protactinium and the protactinium decays via beta emission to uranium, thorium, radium, radon etc 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 all the way down to uh, lead which is stable. So if we're going to measure the half-life of protactinium we need to have just the protactinium which is it's quite tricky because the half-life isn't that long. Now what we've got is a generator and this is made of uranyl nitrate which contains the uranium. At the top here you can just about see there's a layer of organic solvent and if we shake this vigorously for a few seconds um, the solvent mixes with the uranyl nitrate but then when it separates because they're immiscible it will take out the protactinium from here and up into this region here and all the other all the other isotopes which are emitting radiation are left down here so we just got only protactinium as the only radioisotope in this region now if we can put that close to the GM tube which is here then we can take the readings from the protactinium and see how the uh, count rate changes with time and draw a graph uh, to do this I'm going to film it so that we can see very for intervals of say 10 seconds you can note down the raw counts after each 10 second interval and then from that divide by 10 to get the counts per second now I've done the background count it's 0.47 counts per second we can take that off the counts per second the count rate in order to get the corrected count rate which we will be plotting against time now we have to shake this quite vigorously for a short period of time I turn it upside down and put it into this bottle and I put the bottle under there and then soon after I will press start and start on here and then we can play it back or you can play it back in order to get the results so here goes and press start and on there simultaneously and here we go and we'll keep it going for about five minutes
okay, that'll do us. About five and a half minutes there. So we can stop, stopwatch, and we can see hardly any counts going on now. So we want to process this by getting the counts for every 10 seconds and then turning that into counts per second by dividing by 10 and then correcting it by taking off 0.47. Then we're going to be plotting it a bit like this with a corrected count rate um, against time. Now you can see those two circled points you might find at the beginning that the organic solvent hasn't quite separated out so we can ignore those ones and then of course we start with the, um, the highest count rate our third data point and that's C0 half that to get C0 divided by 2 we have a cross and down and that's a half life we can hopefully repeat that a few times by halving C0 divided by 2 and doing the same thing to get a second half life okay so drawing a graph is the next step